Okay, we're going to take a quick look at the three o'clock from Newmarket on Friday um, in the UK. Uh, it's the seven furlong group two due by Rockfell Stakes. 60,000 to the winner. Um, eight horses engaged to go round. Uh, the favourite in the race is the five Shawari at 3.0. Um, we're going to bet around it. Uh, we found one that we feel has got a little bit more upside. Um, and hidden merit in its form profile that we think can roll it. And there's also one at um, big double figure odds um, that's worth nibbling at on an each way basis as well. Um, top rated in this race for us is the seven Ylang Ylang um, from the Aidan O'Brien yard by Frankel out of the Shamadal Mare Shambolic. Goes around 6.0. Uh, we've got it top rated at 4.50. Um, and the one that's worth backing at a big price as well um, off the back of a Group 3 win in Germany last start is the too darn hot <coughs> two-year-old filly. Um, also out of a Shemardal Mare, Dark Promise, Caroline Reaper, which is 21.0. Uh, if it can get back to its new market form three starts ago, win at one by four and a half, it's a chance of um, overturning its more fancied rivals. Uh, so let's take a look at the two that we're keen on in this. We'll start with the top elect, Ylang Ylang. Um, well bred by Frankel out of the Shemardal Mare Shambolic. Um, and she traces back to um, the Be My Chief Mare comic. <clears throat> it's the second dam of this one. <clears throat> now, comic has got um, the 7 from 15 winner by Dan Silly laughing, who was 110 RPR rated, but also Viva Pataka, the champion um, Hong Kong horse. Back in 2009, 2010, won multiple group ones in Hong Kong um, over a two, three year period. Uh, she was absolute top class or he was absolute top class for John Moore. Um, so we know this one's well bred um, and potentially an improving type. And the dam itself, shambolic, was impressive winning two from nine in its short career. Um, Tried in Group 1 company a couple of times and he's starting to throw some decent types. Um, failed last start at the Curra, um, when 13 and a half lengths behind Fallen Angel, but was east close home um, when short of room, a furlong out. Um, prepared to forgive that run, went around as a 6-5 to five favourite, but the win the start prior at Leopardstown when it knocked off uh, Vespertillo uh, was a very good win. The form coming out of that race stacks up strongly. If we just have a look back through the beaten brigade. Vespertillo itself, um, Frank's of form, then came out and ran second to Fallen Angel in that same race, um, suggesting that we can put a line through the failure of Ylang Ylang that day. Third horse home, five and a quarter off Vespertillo next time out. Fourth horse home, only beaten two and a half by Schnellen. Uh, it's a good form reference. Then went to Ross Common and won. And the fifth horse home came out and won next time at Nars and only a length off a C in, in a good listed race um, at the Curra as well, two starts later. So the form around Ylang Ylang suggests that that last start failure, um, we can put a line through it. Uh, the fact that the Aidan O'Brien Yard have pushed on to this Group 2 contest tells me that the horse is still going all right. Um, expect it to bounce back here. Uh, the only reason that we're getting 5 to $1 or $6 about it is the simple fact that um, it's last start failure. So if we put a line through that run, that suggests very good value about Ylang Ylang. Uh, versus the favourite Shawari, which won by half length over Fallen Angel last start, but price is exposed now. I've just got a feeling there's more upside associated to Ylang Ylang. The other one that's worthwhile nibbling at on an each way basis is the too darn hot um, filly Caroline Reaper. She goes around at 21.0. Um, she's by too darn hot, as I said, out of a Shemardal Mare Dark Promise. And this one traces back to the Law Society mayor, the Lost Sky, who's the second dam. And she's got the high class um, Solar Sky and also Love Divine. Um, Love Divine itself 
had Scott 60 Zycon, um, champion uh, by Galileo, 8 from 18 winner, 123 RPR rated, native ruler, and Hamelin, um, 117, 107 rated. So this family continues to perform and throw good types. Um, Solar Sky was 111 rated, uh, and Dark Promise itself, 5 from 10 winner, was 109 rated, uh, listed winner. So plenty to like about this family. Went to Germany last start and won a Group 3 at Baden-Baden. But the run that we want to go on is the win three back here. Um, when it won by four and a half. There's a lot to like about this win, and that was an improvement on the six of 16 by on Snellen at Ascot in the two-year-old listed race back in June. Um, the form coming out of this race stacks up nicely to suggest that it can run some kind of race here at the big odds. We just have a look back through the beaten brigade. Okay, the second horse home come out and won its next two by big margins. Franking the form. Third horse home, only beaten three and a, three and a quarter by Lady Wolfren the next time out at, um, at Newmarket on the July course. Lady Wolfren, um, we've got a bit of an opinion of. Fourth horse home, only beaten half a length by Alshon Farrar on debut. It's also engaged in this race, um, giving a good line back to Carolina Reaper, suggesting the Carolina Reaper's high class. And the fifth horse home, um, only beaten a length and a half by Ardain Devon, uh, who we've got a bit of an opinion of next time out as well. So there's plenty to suggest that Carolina Reaper, um, on the back of going to Germany and winning a Group 3 at Baden-Baden, is back in good form. Uh, we put a line through that new market run in the Group 3 behind Fallen Angel. If you can get back to that level that it showed the start prior, knocking off Ambient Amigo um, back in July... That $21 is going to look a little bit of a luxury. So once again, the 3 o'clock from Newmarket on Friday. Um, the 7 furlong due by Rockvale Stakes Group 2. Uh, on top, we like Ylang Ylang, 6.0. And also nibble at Carolina Reaper in support of the top elect each way at 21.0. That's the 3 o'clock from Newmarket on Friday. Thanks.